your next comedian come to the stage. Uh, he's uh, he's been coming out to McCormick's a lot lately. It's great to see him again. Please give it up for Richard Woody. <laughs> McCormick's, how are we feeling tonight? Alright! Yeah. Not too good, I guess. <laughs> so, who's excited for Valentine's Day? <laughs> not too many people. Well then you must be like me, because I'm not very excited about Valentine's Day. So, what does that mean for you? That means I'm going to talk some shit. Word. I am, because it's just a horrible holiday. Like. <laughs> Because I have a game that I like to play on Valentine's Day, too. It's called, See How Many Times I Can Masturbate Before I Stop Crying. <laughs> it's, it's a game that I both simultaneously win and lose at the same time. <laughs> um, and the reason I'm so rueful Valentine's Day is, is because of women, really. And it's because women do some crazy shit for love. And, and men do some crazy shit too, but it's for a far less noble purpose. Like if you like if you ask a crazy woman why she did something, it looks a little bit like this, you know? Damn bro, why did you do that? <laughs> because I love him. <laughs> and if you ask a guy, it looks something like this. Dude, why the fuck did you do that? Did you see them titties? <laughs> Ew. It's, it's kind of sad to think about it. But it's, it's messed up in a way because if Selma Hayek came through that door right now and told me that all I had to do to be with her for one night is to just murder a baby harp seal. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I question it maybe a little bit. At first, I don't know, Selma, that sounds kind of harsh. And she flashes her titties? I kill him. I don't need no weapons, that's why I got these hands. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Oh. But yes, um... I forgot what I was going to say next. That's right, I'm going to whip it up. Whipping out the cheat sheet. Oh yes, speaking of women. <laughs> speaking of women doing some crazy shit. No, because in the news recently, Susan G. Komen for The Cure has gotten into a lot of trouble recently because, um, you know, they're going around and they actually, they actually sue other organizations that have The Cure in its name. Like, uh, I mean, you wouldn't find that kind of stuff going on at the Testicle Research Institute. There's just a bunch of guys going, please find The Cure, find it! Just find out what it's called, just find it. It's like, come on, ladies, we're not shopping for prom dresses here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm the only one who finds that funny. And I'm going to laugh unashamedly at it. <laughs> but, um, so, but, I've talked about women a lot. Now, I'm going to turn it back on myself now, I think. And, um, you see, I don't, I don't understand guys really that much either because I don't understand sports, um, football in particular. I don't really get it at all. And I think it's because my life just sucks a little too much. <laughs> like, I don't need another thing to go home pissed off about at night. I have too much on my, like, I'm, I'm 25 years old. I have a job that I don't enjoy. I, uh, <laughs> I live with my parents. I cannot bring myself to care that the guy took the ball to that end of the field as opposed to that end. I just, I can't, he knows. Thank you. Um, but yeah, all right. Um, actually, that's my time. So my name is Richard Woody and I am Richard Woody, everybody! Oh my god! The mic cord fell out! What the shit? Oh, and we're back! We're back! Ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian. Haven't seen him in a while. I'm so glad he came out tonight. Please give it up for the very funny Josh Blueball! Hi, McCormick's! Hey. Hello! How are you doing? 
haven't done stand-up in a while. I did like a set recently, and that's about it. So hold on to your dicks. <laughs> Let's make dick jokes. <laughs> Let's make all the dick jokes. Let's make so many dick jokes. Dick jokes aren't dick jokes anymore. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hi, what's your name? Paula. Paula? That's a good name. That's all. That's a good evening. Woo! I guess I should talk about something. Uh, animal movies. Uh, let's just do that. Um, so, animal movies. There are two kinds of animal movies in the world. There are movies in which animals talk, and then there are movies about animals. Uh, movies in which animals talk are fine, because you can relate to your protagonist, because they talk. Right? Come on. Okay. Pig talk. Babe in the Big City. The pig talks. Everything's okay. Sea Biscuit. Fuck that movie. <laughs> You're telling me I have to care about some goddamn horse who doesn't even goddamn talk <laughs> just because fucking Peter Parker strapped to its top? <laughs> Like, uh, horse movies are probably the worst movies in the world, honestly. Like, I feel like a horse movie comes out every three years because it's a way of directors being like, Look at me! I'm such a good director! I made them care about a fucking horse! Like, war horse? God damn it! Like, it's like, watch this horse win a, win a race! Watch this horse survive a war! Watch this horse be named Flicka! Ugh, fuck horse movies! By the way, my friend Flicka references, very hit and miss. <laughs> they are, like, this is a movie from the 50s that was so popular in the 50s it got a sequel called Thunderhead Son of Flicka. <laughs> I don't have a joke for that. <laughs> but, Thunderhead Son of Flicka! Shot a horse running on beach, no one remembers it. It's made millions of dollars. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, Airbud. Uh, Airbud. <laughs> Airbud's probably the best animal movie ever. If you've never seen Airbud, it's about a basketball player and golden retriever's choice between a kid and his heroin addict clown master. <laughs> that movie's fine. It's a good movie. Kids love it. Uh, then they made sequels. In one, he played soccer, whatever. Dogs are still, like, not unfairly good at soccer or basketball. Like, in basketball, Airbud has to dribble the ball, so it's like... <laughs> <laughs> and in soccer, he still has goddamn paws, so it's whatever. Uh, I guess... Did I let him use his front paws, or those count his hands? <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, anyway... Yeah, so then, the third movie... Is it the third movie? It might be the second movie. I don't care enough about Airbud to research this for my bit. Uh, <laughs> he plays football, uh, which, by the way, which referee out in the world just like average land speed of a golden retriever is roughly thirty miles per hour? <coughs> I'll allow it. Play with those kids. Uh, so yeah, you got this golden retriever who plays football with kids. Uh, I haven't seen the movie, but I like to assume the climax of the movie is when Airbud gets tackled and all the kids have to win based on their human skills. Uh, and I like to think that tackling scene's done in slow motion. It just seemed like some fat kid, like, tackling this golden retriever, and you just, like, see its head, like, hit the grass. <laughs> and then it's just laying there, like, whimpering. Like, oh, what's wrong, buddy? What's wrong? Bring out the car! We need the team medic! I'm a people doctor, son. <laughs> Airbud. I feel like I have more time. Do I have more time? You said I have four minutes, so I feel like I have to be incredibly brief. 30 seconds to a minute. I have 30 seconds to a minute. So I play football now. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, there's a new semi-pro league in the world that's like supposedly one step under the NFL, but frankly I'm practicing in a high school like field. So I don't believe it. Uh, but, it, like, Virginia's team's called the Virginia Tritons. And I showed up to try out. And, like, it had been, like, two weeks after actual tryouts. But, like, coaches whack off to guys my size. So I showed up. 
and I was just like, hey, I want to play football. And they were like, uh, what? Can you, can, you, can you run a lap? So I like ran a lap. And I was like, yeah, I ran that lap. And they're like, oh, most of our linemen vomit when they do that. <laughs> Joke's on them, I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> My name's Josh Bluba, and uh, I've, I've been making this stuff up. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I can Josh Blue everybody! <laughs> Guys, your next comic. This is also his first time at McCormick's. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Please give up for Nate Peterson! <laughs> What's up, bitch ass? How's it going? So... I used to be a Mormon, which meant I used to not have sex, and I used to not drink. And then I kind of gave that up because I really like sex and drinking. So, woo! But you know, like, back in the old days, when I used to go to church, they'd be like, Yo, you know, sex is really sacred. You have to respect it, and you have to be really close to it, and you can only do it with the person you're married to. And when you do, it's wonderful! And they're like talking about how great it is and like how beautiful they're like sex is amazing it's the most wonderful feeling in the world but wait until you're married because if you do it before then the devil will kill you and you're like oh my gosh like you freak me out like i'm gonna die but it's not really true because i haven't died yet <laughs> <laughs> that's implying that i've had had sex i don't know if you got that but i've had sex so it's really great but they used to tell you know like you know how like, people would have like logger talk and they'd be like, yo man, like last week I went out to the bars and I like banged this chick. And we had sex for like three hours and then I woke up in the morning and she threw up in my trash can and then I threw up on her face. And then we had sex again in the morning, it was great. And they're like, yeah man, good job, you got pussy. And like Mormons when they talk in the lockers, it's like, the other day Tracy and I are picking brownies together and Tracy caressed my back and I said, Tracy, I don't think we should be making brownies together anymore. And they're like, Whoa, man, good job! You resisted the temptation, man! Good job for resisting the Book of Mormon. Like, yeah, I took a shower afterwards, read the Bible for three hours. They're like, dude, good job. <laughs> so, recently I lost a lot of weight, but then I also gained it back because I stopped working out afterwards. I kind of forgot that part. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do P90X because I don't have anything to do for three hours. And then I did that and then I immediately gained back 25 pounds. And the good thing about weight loss, like weight gain for guys is that you immediately know when you've gained weight because you can't see all of your penis. And that's what scares you when you're like, oh shit, it's not all the way there. I have to lose it because I can't see all of it. And that's when you, it's your motivation to work out. And it really helps because girls don't have that, which I'm assuming is why pregnancy is not a big deal for them because it was kind of like, oh, it's whatever. I couldn't see it before anyway, so. <laughs> So, the other day, and what, let me ask you a question. What do you call a sorority girl sucking on a penis? Thursday. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end with this. My first introduction to Richmond, I came down to VCU. I said, I'm gonna walk around on campus. I said, you go get your orientation card. Put a smiley face in your little card, walking back. I go walking back to campus, back to my car, this guy comes up to me, this crazy, this crazy, big, burly guy, who's going to be like, Yo, man, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going to get mugged. Like, everyone tell me about Richmond, everyone's getting mugged all the time, people just get stolen, everyone steals their wallets, and they're freaking out all the time. I'm like, oh, my gosh, what's going to happen to me in broad daylight, 3 p.m., what the fuck am I going to do? And he's like, yo, man, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, oh, what's the question? What's the question, man? What's the question? He's like, it's a very important question. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, he's going to ask me, like, you all got to pop a cap in your ass. I'm going to shit on your face. I'm going to rape you. How do you feel about getting raped tonight? And I'm like, oh, shit, dude, please no. And he's like, yo, man, can I borrow some change for the bus? And I was like, dude, you would have way more success with that if you just initially asked me that the first time. Because I was freaking out the whole time you asked me the question. Like, if you're like, yo, man, can I ask you a question? How do you feel about anal sex with a big man? You know, like, that's what I'm thinking the whole time. Like, oh shit, it's gonna happen. My wallet's getting stolen. I'm gonna have a freaking asshole. Never had that happen before. So, 
Love Richmond. Thanks again, guys. My name is Nate. Call me. Hey, Peterson, everybody. Give it up. Yay, yay. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs>